Hi everybody. This is the video on converting fractions, percents, and decimals. The first thing I like to do is go ahead and draw what I'm going to refer to as the conversion triangle. On the top of this triangle I put percents. On the bottom left I put fractions. And on the right side, I put decimals. I also put a couple pictures in there to help me remember what I need to do between each of the stages. So on the left over here, I'm going to put over 100. On the bottom, I'm just going to put a division symbol. And on the right side, I'm going to draw a decimal. And it's going to be moving two places to the right, one and two. So for now, let's just go ahead and tuck this all up in the corner, as we'll be referring to it later. Alright, let's go ahead and do an example, and we'll work our way all the way around the triangle. Let's start with 75%. That puts us right at the top of the triangle, and let's move our way around counterclockwise. So from percents, we're going to convert to fractions. Looking at my graphic on the side, I can see I go over 100, because that's what a percent is, essentially. It's a number over 100. So I'm going to take the 75, and I'm just going to put it over 100. That's my fraction right there. However, I need to reduce it. So I need to think of the greatest common factor that goes into both 75 and 100. I know that 25 goes into both of them. So I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 25. Break that down and it comes out to 3 fourths. Now let's go ahead and take that 3 fourths and move from the fraction to a decimal. I can see in my graphic on the bottom I have a division sign. So let's just go ahead and divide 3 by 4. Put the decimal at a 0. 7, 4 times 7 is 28, 30 minus 28 gives me 2, add a 0, bring down, 4 goes into 25 times. I take my decimal, I move it straight up, I can now see that 3 fourths gives me 0.75. And now the last step to go from our 0.75 and try to turn that into a percent, all I need to do is move that decimal two places. So if I have 0.75 and I move one place, two place, that gives me 75%. And now we've worked our entire way around the triangle. Let's go ahead and try a couple more. I'd like you to go ahead and try to make sure you can get all the way around the triangle using this. Go ahead and pause your video right now and try to get all the way around before I display the answer. Alright, you should have gotten 0.5 for your decimal and 50% there. Go ahead and try one more. Let's do a little trickier one this time. I would, I would like you to work your way all the way around the circle with three-eighths triangle, not circle, I'm sorry. Three-eighths, work your way around right now. All right, you should have gotten 0.375 for your decimal and 37 and one-half percent. Nice job. That is the end of the lesson on converting fractions, percents, and decimals. Is draw what I'm going to refer to as the conversion triangle. Up on top I'm going to put percents. On the bottom left I'm going to put fractions. And over on the right I'm going to put decimals. I also draw a couple pictures so that I can remember what I need to do 
from each stage. Over on the left, I'm going to put it over 100. On the bottom, I'm just going to put a division sign. And on the right side, I'm going to put a decimal point, And I'm going to show that it's moving two places to the right. One and two.